Uh, welcome back to the Brogue Ascension Run. I'm Lily, and with me here again tonight is Seven Deadly Sins. Hey there. Yeah, um, we're probably actually going to talk about the run tonight rather than talk about Crawl. Um, but yeah. Really the better game. Look, Crawl's an excellent game, and everyone should play it. Everyone should play Crawl. Yeah. But for a second there, I was like, why are you killing your ogre? No, no. That's actually, uh... I was just zap identifying all of my staves of protection to see how many charges they had. And then I read a scroll of recharging right away to be like, oh. Well then. <laughs> well then. Um, okay. Yay, totems. And by yay, I mean boo. Yeah. Boo, totems. Totems are kind of a pain in the ass, especially when they start coming in groups of like three and four, and they're just like, let's zap everything with lightning. Yeah. It's why I try to keep one goblin alive, so that they try and at least, like, haste that, because yeah. the goblin is less scary than, I'm going to do everything with lightning. Yeah, and they the, they have a really bad habit of shooting at your allies instead of you, and so your, like, fragile pixies or dar battle mages or whatever will just end up dead. Oh, yeah. I'm sad. But, uh... So, so far you've got a pretty stacked inventory. You've got a fancy staff of lightning and protection and all sorts of other stuff. Yeah. And you've got a plus three ring of wisdom. Very nice. Yeah. Now, I've, uh... Actually, the sword of slowing is just an amazing weapon. I was really lucky to find that. Uh, just because, if nothing else, since I'm playing a mage build, I can just kind of hit people with it and then run away if things get dangerous. Cause... Oh dear, fire. Things are on fire. Yeah, spiders and salamanders. Not a nice combo. No, no. not at all. Yeah, whenever I saw... Are you just like, just like hoping that you don't get set on fire? Pretty much. It, and it, that it didn't was work. not successful. <laughs> it didn't work. But luckily I can just stand in this uh, empty square and wait for the fire to go out. I've got enough HP at this point. That's really not a big deal. Um, yeah. That oh, is goodness. unless Ooh, I like I stay on troll. fire. Yeah, troll buddy. Troll Children buddies are act- especially nice because they will heal at a reasonable rate. Yeah. They're actually uh they're one of my like favorite mid game allies just because uh I'm really bad at keeping my allies alive and so when they inevitably step on traps or something like that um, it's nice that he'll just heal, like, right back up, rather than keel over and die. This is true. Yeah. Unlike ogres, which have a million HP and don't regen at all. Yeah. yeah. So you just... Either you walk around with them with not enough HP, or you just dick around forever waiting for them to... Like, the troll is already at, back at half health. I know. It's like... And you haven't even freed him yet. <laughs> That's really nice. And then the ogre would take, like, a thousand turns to reach that point. Hey, my ogre's actually learning something. Uh, What's he learning? In this case, he's eating a salamander, so he'll learn fire immunity. But nice. But one of the cool things you can do is, if one of your allies starts to learn something, um, you can actually walk on top of the uh, corpse they're learning something from, and they'll stop learning that ability if they're picking up something you don't want. Uh, in, in this case, you're totally okay with immune to fire. Yeah, but sometimes they'll, like, your, I don't know, your tentacle horror will try to learn, like, cast lightning bolt, and then they'll waste turns cast lightning bolt instead of, you know, massacring people in melee. Yeah. Sorry about my phone. Nah, it's totally my phone ringing. I will go turn off the ringer. Um, I shall return! Alright. But yeah, other things that are of note I have right now are my Staff of Lightning, which is enchanted up to 7 at this point, which I hear a lot of people talk about how that's generally a reasonable number to get your Staff of Lightning to, and you'll just be okay. Um, unless you don't have a Ring of Wisdom, and you're using it as your primary damage, it generally is enough to get you by. Um, yeah. And then I also have my Plate Armor, which... I enchanted. Yeah, that's totally stupid. Plus three plate armor already. Oh yeah, but I just enchanted the plate armor up to the point where I was using it without any penalty. Mm-hmm. And since I have 16 strength, I'm basically probably never going to touch it again, just because I prefer increasing my damage output. 
since I don't want to be in melee anyways. This is true. Oh, hey, that is an Ifrit. Yeah. Uh, Holy crap. No, he's actually uh, my ally. The little red oh. altar in the bottom right, uh, they're these... It's kind of like replaces a secret room key, but uh, uh-huh. you'll find like a monster behind a secret door, and they'll be carrying um, a crystal orb, or sometimes it's just like a key room. Um, in this case, uh, the room with all the pit traps uh, yeah. that held the crystal orb, and then you go and place it on the crystal altar, um, and it summons one of like a few legendary allies. And yeah, if I recall, it's like the Ifrit, the Unicorn, the... or the what? I think it's the Phoenix. Those are the oh, the Phoenix, yeah. Above. Phoenixes are hilariously good. They're really... they're kind of ridiculous just because if you're actually good about keeping them alive, uh, they can just block things forever. But if you're okay, bad that, like me, ex- they'll end up dead. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Those acidic jellies could have been bad. Yeah, I don't actually think I've found protect armor yet, so I'm still kind of wary of ever going near anything acidic. Yeah. Just because my armor will just dissolve, and I'll cry about it. Trolls hit hard. Yeah. Um, and then the other thing, uh, the, the legendary ally that I actually like is the unicorn just because it has the ability uh, to heal and protect and yeah. it's innately hasted. So it yeah, just, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it just sits there like you can't die if it's nearby. But it's super fragile, so... You actually and are enemies careful. smart enough to actually fight it? Um, if you're not near it, they will kill it and it can die to a lot of traps easily. But... That's a shame. Yeah. Um, but other than that... It's not too big of a deal, just because they'll run away frequently. It's just part of their AI to like not go into combat. Um, and since they're tasted, they can run away from most things without too much trouble. Yeah. Yeah. The Ifrit has a bad habit of kind of wandering off on its own, because it's flying and immune to fire and travels faster than you. So. Yeah. Luckily, it can hold its own, so it, like it's not as bad as if, say, something good that would die yeah. wandered off. Yeah. But it, it just can be a kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Just like if you're if you're going for something like a stealth build or something like that, an Ifrit will just absolutely ruin that because they'll wander all over the level and wake everything up. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. This is why I generally play a wizard because. I don't care about waking things up, and I can be lazy and auto-explore my way through the dungeon. I I especially like if it's because they Discord stuff. Mm Mm-hmm. Discording uh, jellies. Oh my goodness. It's hilarious. Discording jellies is the best. Yeah. Oh hey, Goblin Mystic, kill it. Kill it. Yeah, I'm Uh, actually just trying to line up my shots so I can get the most people in one hit. That's that's a nice... uh, it's a nice luxury to be able to afford. Yeah. Uh, that's actually one of the things about playing a Staff of Lightning build, um, is basically just making sure you actually uh, shoot at the right angle. Because you can shoot a lot of things uh, like at angles that the AI won't shoot at, just because they'll always try to target you. So you can shoot at like traps or totems from around corners. And Yeah. Uh, that's just really helpful, especially when you find things like flame traps. Mm-hmm. Flame traps are such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Ogre Shaman. Yeah. Dead Ogre Shaman. If I had a Wand of Domination, I'd try and take him over, just because uh, they can summon um, I think permanent ogre allies, and so That's you cool. can just get an army of ogres with them. That sounds pretty neat. Yeah. I'm not actually I'm not actually sure I have any wands on this character though. I think I've mostly just found staves. You have a wand of teleportation. Right, right. I forgot I found that. Which is I, I wish I wish you could uh you could bounce lightning like in crawl. Uh yeah, no. I mean that would be like ludicrously good, but uh The Staff of Lightning is already so OP. It doesn't yeah, need the help. That's true. Yeah. 
I do like that you can aim at uh, at squares you can't see in order to get a better uh, in order to get a better shot. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. It is annoying that you can't really target flame turrets though. Or turrets in general. Yeah, you. Uh, I mean, you can shoot them from angles that they can't see you, but like actually targeting them means you're gonna be in their line of sight. Uh huh. Oh, hey, an underworm. Yeah, underworms. Number of underworms. <laughs> I I really hate the fact that I'm in a tight hallway because if I try oh, and back up, then the my ally is just gonna be murdered. Yeah. It makes oh, me sad. Oh Jesus Christ! You're getting uh. Yeah, underworms hurt. Worked. Luckily, there's like this one space of shallow water that yeah. I can back up far enough to. This is me desperately trying to save my troll with my staff of protection. Yeah, well, that's that is a noble goal. <laughs> I don't actually remember if I succeed or not. I wish you the best of luck. Don't die, troll. Hopefully, it will it will waste time killing your spectral blades, or your troll will just walk up next to it. Yeah, trolls aren't smart. No one suggested that they were, unfortunately. Yeah. It's one of the things that always makes me panicky about allies, is they don't run until they're really low on HP, and a lot of yeah. the uh, later game monsters just hit hard enough that your allies will probably end up dead before they try fleeing. Yeah, that's kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. And then my Ifrit Discord. Success! Yay! And of course your troll is already back up to half HP because <laughs> they regenerate obscenely fast. They're just incredibly silly yeah I'm trying to find like a way around this because I thought for sure there would be a door over here but nope so was that just like a trap or something uh I, the I, underworms I honestly think so like I don't remember finding anything behind them but every once in a while uh it's just kind of like flavor to the dungeon thunderworms will pop out and try to massacre you luckily oh, no, they're one of those uh, monsters that's really slow so you can run from them if need be. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Except if you're in a tight corner and you're, all your allies will keep fighting them. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Yeah. So even with the fact that I'm going for a, a wizard build, I can still take on most things in melee just because plate armor sort of is ridiculously really nice. Good. Yeah, plate armor plus sort of slowing. Yeah. It's kind of nice combo. Better. I like how allies uh, follow you through uh, stairs in this game. Like, Crawl always did that dumbly, and that since it doesn't load previous levels, it uh, won't remember to bring your allies through. Yeah. So if you want to bring allies through, they have to be right next to you, which means you have to do a lot of dumb stuff. Yeah, it's one of the things that actually bothers me about Crawl, just because it's annoying to try and herd your allies down, up and down stairs, especially as Goodness someone like a Hillork Priest. Ugh, I can't play Hillork Priest because they're just so... Ugh. Yeah, no, I can't either. Don't worry. God, that's the worst. And this is me trying to decide what to drop because I have mostly nice things at this point. So it's like, eh. yeah, this is, these are like first world problems. Yeah, pretty much. It's like my inventory is too full of nice things. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, whoa, uh, that's a fight. That was actually uh, something I learned about recently. Um, well, yeah. Not learned about, but. Uh, one of the things Cyber MG does when playing a lot is if he has uh, too many items, he'll just throw all of his extra stuff down pits. Yeah, that's something that I've done for a while if I think I might want stuff. Yeah, I just, I never think about it like when I actually have the stuff because I'm just like, uh -huh. what do I drop to pick this up or what do I use or what, what have you. There's usually a pit in most places. Yeah. Until you start getting down to, like, the really low dungeons where pits start getting replaced by, like, uh, lava pits or sulfur fields. Uh-huh. Then it becomes a bit of a pain, but... 
Uh, just a bit. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're for tough fight and stuff. Yeah. He makes zombies angry and then eventually follows me. Uh, or if it vomits profusely. <laughs> uh, that's actually um, something I found out about recently is uh, previous levels don't actually progress when you're not on them. Outside uh-huh. of stuff like really close to the staircase. Um, uh huh. So like, I, uh, I like, one of my allies had discorded a dragon or something on like D twenty three. Uh huh. And then I fled down the stairs and it didn't follow me. Um, and while I was coming back up with the amulet, I met it again and it was still discorded. I was like, that's cool. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but it's, uh. I don't know. It's just I remember, weird. Oh yeah, I remember that someone was complaining about the poison gas in the uh, in the gas trap room in the latest Brogue Weekly. Mm-hmm. Uh, How it never dissipates or whatever. Yeah, well, the only reason it never dissipates is because you leave the room, you leave the floor immediately. Yeah. Yeah. No, so it's like you've left the floor and. Uh, even if you turned off the trap, it's going to take a while for the, the gas to dissipate. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, a sleeping vampire. Oh, it's awake. Kill it. Yeah. No. I... No. No. This yeah. is not good. This was when I found out that vampires discord. Yeah. I kind of forgot about that. And then my ogre and troll don't like me anymore. They, they killed your ogre. Yeah. Boo. Who earns? God, vampires are the worst. Your Ifrit defeated your ogre. Sad uh-huh. Day. Sad, sad day. But at this point, he was kind of outdated. Just because true. they're like D6 monsters and I'm on D16. Yeah, that's that's also true. Yeah. Please kill it with... Oh my god, I hate <laughs> that. Oh. Yeah. No, trust me, I feel the same way. I'm like, god damn it, just die. Yeah, meanwhile, you're trying to hope that your troll doesn't murder you to death. Yeah. Yeah. One of the nice things about uh, being able to shoot your enemies with uh, hostile staves is I can try desperately to keep my troll alive for my Ifrit right now. Yeah. Cause it, somehow I don't think it's going to work. I probably not, but it's worth trying. I'm just nope. kind of like, oh damn it! <laughs> no, your effort defeated your troll. Your effort is a slayer of men. Yeah, killing all of my allies. The worst part is it's a crystal orb, so I just lost two of my allies to get a new one. Even if well, the new one is cool. <laughs> the new one is hopefully cool. Yeah, and then it's another effort, and I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> I hope not. I, will, I hope only the best for you. Yeah. I actually you're, don't you're very, know very where sick if it. the uh, the altar is. Yeah, because like at oh, this point, steam. I think I had. I feel like I had explored the level pretty well, and then I'm like, oh. Oh hey, you got a unicorn. Nice. Yeah. Unicorn. That buddy. is pretty awesome. I like how the how the you. The unicorn is like the the accented you. <laughs> umlaut. I actually don't think that's an umlaut, but it's uh. I think it's like a. I forget exactly what that one is. The umlaut is the two dots. Yeah. Um. The unicorn. Um. I forgot what it was. There was something about them. Um. I remember the first game I got unicorn. He actually ended up. Uh, getting discorded by uh, like I don't even remember what it was I think a Dar battle mage and uh-huh. all my other allies just were adjacent to it at the time and just like killed it in one turn I was <laughs> so sad <laughs> that is really disappointing yeah the worst part is uh, I had been using it as a light because I hadn't found like a ring of light or anything like that so I was just wandering around the lower levels like in pitch black um and because they glow, they kind of like light up the surrounding level. And so uh-huh. if you're desperate, you can uh, use it like as a makeshift low level ring of light. Uh huh. Yeah. Or, you know, as a beacon to 
alert all enemies nearby. <laughs> Just to make sure that nobody misses your presence? Pretty much. Because that would be a real shame. Yeah, you know, it's not like I want to avoid monsters or anything. You have a you have a staff of lightning. You should just zap it, yeah. zap them all to death. That's actually one of the like little effects I like about Brogue is the staff of lightning actually uh, lights areas up when you shoot it. Yeah, that is kind of kind of neat. Oh, hey, underworms again. Yeah. Except this time your Ifrit is being shielded and probably healed by your unicorn. Yeah, that's actually uh, what makes me not want to switch places with him. Because, it's because then they'll all be mad at you. Well, it's not even just that. It's that I'll be blocking line of sight for uh, my Ifrit, and so the unicorn won't actually be able to heal anymore. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'll just let the unicorn heal Do his Ifrit. Thing. Yeah. I figure if I get low, I can just like switch places and then blink out. Yeah. You have quite the uh, quite the little uh, army going on here. Yeah. Unicorn. That's another thing that I like is just ra- oh hey your Ifrit is about to learn stuff. Yeah, I think it's trying to learn blinking, and I really it's already a pain in the ass to keep up with, so I actually <laughs> stop it. I'm like go learn something else. What are you hoping it'll learn? Uh, I actually don't. I think. Whoa, it's... confusion. Ideally, I think I'd like something like uh, invisibility, or just something to like help it keep alive. Um, Because it's already, like, flying and immune to fire. So, yeah, confusion is how I lose a lot of allies. Ah. As they start trying to kill each other. Your effort is killing your unicorn. Yeah. Uh, Really disappointing. Luckily, you can still use staves while you're confused, like, without any penalty. See, that's another thing in Crawl. Confusion is, like, the bringer of ends. It's just really painful. But in you crawl, can't, you can't shoot things. You can't. Uh, you can't. Uh, you can't zap uh, wands. You can't really do anything. Yeah, but it just sucks. In fairness, in crawl, uh, potions of healing aren't like super rare. So just popping one to uh, cure it isn't that big of a deal. Yeah, but at the same time, when you get ambushed by a goddamn pack of golden eyes. Yeah. Like, the, there was uh, one person in the crawl thread who actually lost someone in the abyss because of that. Like, oh, were... yeah, I, I remember seeing that. That's so painful. Yeah, I was just like, oh, man, I feel bad. Because they were a high-level character, too. Like, they should have been fine in the abyss. And then just, they didn't have MR. And so, like, six golden eyes just sat there and wailed on him. It's like, uh-huh. that's that just That happened depressing. to me in Slime a lot. Slime has all the golden eyes. I really, really don't like slime. It's probably one of my least favorite branches. Like, oh, I, it, I like it because it's trivialized by uh, cor- by resist corrosion. What I really hate now is spider. I have played spider like once or twice. Ugh, it's the worst. It doesn't strike me as like really dangerous outside of like orb spiders, but ghost moths. Yeah, okay, sorry. Ghost moths in the end vault are obviously dangerous and a pain in the ass. But And the Emperor Scorpions, which got buffed. Oh, did they get buffed? Yeah. I actually haven't uh I haven't looked at many of the changes recently. Well the main thing that happened to Emperor Scorpions is that they were getting tangled in webs because they were medium monsters. <laughs> so since there were a billion trillion webs. Yeah. It was just dumb. Yeah. So they ended up making them so that they uh, don't get tangled in webs. Yeah, so they're now huge monsters. Yeah. That's unfortunate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So and now... Now I'm on fire. Now you're fighting a fire zombie. Yeah. That's the worst part of zombies, is they, ch- they catch fire and then they come find you. <laughs> so now you're, like, burning and vomiting and fighting a zombie, and they're, like... These crazy fireballs of pain in the ass. Yeah. My favorite part is that since I'm on uh, the sulfur levels, they just light themselves on fire by wandering around. Uh huh. I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. It's very memorable when they do it, though. (laughs) 
This is true. Yeah. Especially when they like come around a corner and you're just like, whoa, okay, zombie, and now I'm on fire. Pretty much. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, spider branch. I just I don't like going in because of the like 18 million webs. It feels like the slowest branch ever invented. Yeah. Like swamp was pretty bad before, just because you couldn't really auto explore the level because of the stupid trees, and you'd spend like thousands of turns on each floor just trying to explore all the nooks and crannies. Um, yeah, they kind of fixed that. Yeah. I th- the, the fixes to to Swamp are really, really nice. Yeah. Oh, look. Sentinels. <sighs> Gaspity. Lightning them to death. Pretty much. They love stealing all of my freaking lightning charges. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm, I only have one charge left. Maybe I should shoot it with Conjuration first to block the healing bolts Mm -hmm. I swear I'm smart just not most of the time (laughs) yeah just not right now yeah just not ever I just pretend to be sometimes 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 (laughs) oh hey HG that's nice yeah and then I'm like god damn it I don't have inventory room again (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) This is probably Storing actually away. one of my least favorite key holder rooms, the one that like yeah. causes all the traps to pop up. Because oh, I hate that. By the time you find it, it's at least 50% flame turrets. I'm just like... <sighs> well, I'm ready to be on fire forever. I'm ready for all of my allies to be on fire. Like your unicorn, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm really, really happy I found this Staff of Protection, because it's the only thing that's kept this unicorn alive. Yeah. There have been multiple times where I've just been, like, desperately zapping it with the protection to keep it alive. Like when you hit that confusion trap? Yeah, or when it uh, got lit on fire, like, four times. <laughs> like right now? Yeah. Yeah. I think, uh... I think eventually my freak gets discorded. Or something. It might just be that it gets confused and just starts, like, wailing on my unicorn and somehow it manages to not kill it. I was just shocked. Yeah. If it's are dangerous as hell. Yeah. They're also a huge pain in the ass when they get discorded because they cast discord on all of your allies and then you cry about it. You just have, like, a, a dumb discord circle going on. It sucks. Oh, well. Ogres, ogre packs. Yeah, this I have to assume that the ogre shaman summons some of these just because it's a silly amount of ogres. Yeah. Is that an, uh, another allied troll? Another troll, yay. Yay. With it's already at half health. Yeah. That is the number one thing is trolls healing. Yeah. That's actually... Uh, What's it called? Tentacled horrors have the same thing. They regenerate really oh, quickly. Wow. Yeah, so but they're like a billion times more dangerous. Yeah, well. But okay. they're still less uh, less dangerous than freaking tentacled monstrosities and crawl. Okay, this is the saddest part of this entire run. Ugh. I walk into line of sight of this trap when I'm standing in explosive gas. Ugh. And i just like, well... I feel rather silly. And then all of my allies walk into here. Yeah. No. Okay, unicorn is burning. I'm like, oh god, save the unicorn. The unicorn will keep you alive as long as you keep it alive. I don't make any promises. The room is still exploding, and I'm still on fire, and I'm standing... <laughs> this in- is the worst. <laughs> This is seriously the worst. Okay, Staff of Blinking. You should Wand of Teleportation the Unicorn and then Staff of Blinking out. No, that would be too smart. I'm just like, oh god. Well, one of the things is, I'm not sure if it will burn to death if I teleport it out. And so I wanted to try and keep it in line of sight so I could protect it. Except it's being exploded yeah. right now. Oh, trust me. I said, this wasn't my smartest moment. I was just panicking. I was like, oh god, my unicorn. 
And then I, I would expect you to be more. Oh God, my me. <laughs> well, I still have like. Oh wow, I only have two potions of healing. I thought yeah. I had more than that. That's just depressing. Luckily, it looks like your unicorn has outrun the flames. Yeah, I don't think it's on fire. I think it's out of the scalding steam. Yeah. But... Well, it's you are you are now in a dead end, and it's coming <laughs> for you. <laughs> Now, oh, and of course your Ifrit made it out fine because it's immune to fire. Yeah. And oh, great! Don't free the salamander, please. Just look. I promise I'm not quite that stupid. I was like, just there's way too much like explosive gas on the later levels, or when freeing like, the salamander causes that shit to happen like 20 times. <sighs> oh, and wait, yeah, wait. Nope, that it, was my unicorn. Son of a bitch. My Ifrit got into a fight with something. So my unicorn charged through the scalding steam and tried to start healing him. I was just... I cursed so much at this point. I was oh God. so sad. You're bad at broke. <laughs> uh, and, yet, and yet you're the one that's recording the winning <laughs> video and I'm the one that's commentating on it. What the fuck does that make me? Look, look. I am bad at broke. I just get extremely lucky. That's all it is. There's no skill here. Don't worry. No, no, you did keep it alive that first time. Well, now, on the upside, now you can free your salamander. All right, that's pretty much it for this run. Um, next video should be the last one. So, see you next time.